What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Detroit Lions franchise. Week 1 of the 2014 season is here and the Lions are playing on Monday Night Football. And this guy, Reggie Bush, will be a big factor in tonight's game if the Lions want to win. With Matthew Stafford out till at least week 4 it looks like. Reggie Bush in this running game will have to step it up as Sam Martin and the Lions kick off to get the game underway. And Jernigan back at his own one, taking this one past the 20 and down at the 21-yard line. And that is where the New York Giants and quarterback Eli Manning will get this game started on offense for the Giants in his 11th year as the starting quarterback for the New York Giants. Manning has had his issues. They've implemented a new West Coast offense form to try to get him to complete more passes. And this first one goes to Victor Cruz over the middle for 13 yards and a first down up to the 34-yard line. So far, so good for Eli and the Giants. First and 10 now, back to pass, looking, stepping up. And this defensive front of the Lions gets to Manning. And Nanavikin and Sue gets the sack on Manning the first on the day for this defensive front. The Lions defensive front doesn't usually have to rush to get pressure on the quarterback since they have such a good one. They can just throw four up there and rush. Third and 17 now for the Giants. This pass deep is broken up on the play and the Giants will have to punt, giving the ball to Kellen Moore. That is going to be your Detroit starter till Matthew Stafford gets back. As we did bring in Kevin Cobb but he has not yet learned the playbook enough to be the starter, so he is number two. Kellen Moore in his second year, I believe. Hands off to Reggie Bush up the middle, spinning around a defender, breaking tackles and taken down at the Giants 39, a 24 yard gain on the first play from scrimmage for the Lions. And we'll take a look at this offense for Detroit. Not only is Matthew Stafford out, Pettigrew, our starting tight end, is out as well. So the rookie, Eric Ebron, will be starting in his position. The rookie from North Carolina. Handoff goes to Reggie Bush here on second and ten. And this one is going nowhere but backwards there. A one-yard loss on the play. Later on in the drive, it's third and 11. More back to pass here. Looking has all day. Fires and hits Calvin Johnson for his first catch of the season. That one's good for 17 yards and a first down there. It's third and two now from the 15. Handoff to Joyk Bell, the second head of this double-headed rushing attack. And that one goes for four and another Lions first down here. Ball at the 11 yard line, second and 10. The pitch to Reggie Bush trying to get outside. Breaks a tackle, breaks two before getting taken down by the third defender. That one will gain five. And we have a third down and six from the six yard line. And Moore will fake the handoff here, rolling out to his left, and he is going to get sacked on the play, and that will set up fourth and long, and Detroit will kick a field goal to take a 3 to nothing lead here as Eli and the Giants take over. Handoff goes to Rashad Jennings. He's going to gain about five yards on that play. That's going to set up a long or a medium second down here. And we'll look at the Lions defensive line here with Nanamik and Sue, Nick Fairley, Ezekiel Anza. We have a pretty good front four. Our only bad spot may be our secondary, but we'll find out how they fare today as we have a third and six. Eli throwing off his back foot, connects with Victor Cruz, who has to come back to get the ball and cannot get to the first down marker. And that will force another punt from this Lions defense. And the offense will take over here now, up by a field goal. And a screenplay to Reggie Bush gets outside. He has the first down and more down the sideline. He goes into giant territory, down to the 31-yard line. That was a 42-yard gain, I believe. And on a first and 10 here, Moore will hand off to Joyk Bell up the middle. He makes his way down to the 20-yard line. And that is an 11-yard gain as a giant is injured on the play. Here late in the first quarter, fake handoff to Bell. Moore back to pass. He has all day here. Fires and he hit, hits Williams down at the one. That'll set up third and goal from the one yard line with four seconds left. Handoff to Joy Bell up the middle and he breaks the plane. And as time expires, Detroit gets on the board and takes a 10 to nothing lead after one quarter. 
We move now to the second quarter. The Giants have the ball here, third and 11. Eli back to pass, scrambling around, throwing off his back foot, and Larry Donnell, the tight end, cannot come down with it on the sideline. And Detroit forces another punt. Still up 10-0 as they take over more back to pass. Once again, he's going heading for Eric Ebron, who cannot bring the catch down. And that will force third down and long out of the shotgun here for Kellen Moore. He will look to pass here. He fires. He hits Kevin Ogletree. And Ogletree is brought down a yard short of the first down. And Detroit has to punt, giving the ball back to Eli and the Giants, who have not been able to do much of anything today, not even into Lion territory, as this pass to Reuben Randall is good for a first down. Later on in the drive, it's first and 10 here from the 45. Let's see if the Giants can get into the Lions' territory. This pass to the sideline, caught by Victor Cruz for a first down, and Victor Cruz is injured on the play. Their top wideout going down, though it's not serious. He comes back later on. Trying to set up the screenplay now on third and four. And the pressure gets to Eli. Darius Slay gets the sack. And the Giants have to punt after getting into Lion territory. The farthest they've gotten so far. As you look at the pressure we got, they brought the blitz on third and four and did not have time to set up that screenplay. The Lions take over now. Up by 10. This catch is caught by Eric Ebron. And it will be short of the first down by inches. We almost decided to challenge that, but instead we took the punt. Third one now for the Giants. This pitch goes to David Wilson, the now retired David Wilson. And he gets the first down on the pitch. Third down and nine now late here in the second quarter. Eli back to pass, firing and broken up by the secondary. That will set up a punt, and Detroit takes over here with 3.27 left in the half. Handoff goes to Reggie Bush up the middle, using his speed to get the first down. He has 10 carries for 52 yards on the day. Like I said at the beginning of this game, the running backs will have to step up, as we don't want more throwing a ton here. This one goes to Golden Tate on the sideline, signaling first down, and it is a first down. 37 seconds to go. Second and one, more back to pass, looking, has all day kind of, but he will get sacked on the play, and Detroit will hurry up to the line, third down and nine as they head to the line, Moore is going to pass again, fires quickly, and it is dropped by Kevin Ogletree, would have had the first down maybe, but instead it sets up fourth and nine, and the Lions settle for a field goal right before halftime, taking a 13 to nothing lead into halftime. And we will go ahead and look at those halftime stats now. Detroit leading every category, holding this New York offense to under 100 yards in the first half. We'll find out if they can keep that up heading into the second half. Detroit gets the second half underway by receiving the kickoff. Darius Slay out of his own end zone here, taking it past the 20 outside, breaking tackles and taken down at the 28. And that is where the Lions will start here, first and 10. Moore out of the shotgun and hands off to Reggie Bush up the middle using that speed once again to gain nine yards. He's got 15 carries for 78 yards on the day. They will get the first down. Later on the drive, it's first and 10. Moore back to pass. He's going to hit Golden Tate on the comeback route. He is the new addition from the Seattle Seahawks, the Super Bowl champs. He is there to compliment Calvin Johnson. Hopefully, Moore back to pass here and he's going to hit. Alec Ogletree, I think I called him Kevin Ogletree earlier, but more, 132 yards passing on the day so far, so very efficient for him as we did not get the first down and had to punt, but we pin the Giants back at their own goal line. This one from Rashad Jennings, this rush goes for two, third down and nine, Manning in his own end zone here, firing over the middle, incomplete. I believe that was intended for Odell Beckham the rookie, and instead they punt. The Lions get good field position here, third and one. Hand off to Reggie Bush up the middle. That will gain three yards and a first down. Bush is closing in on 100 yards rushing on the day. Third down and five now for Detroit as the handoff goes to Joyke Bell, and he is going nowhere, a gain of maybe one, and our thought process there was to just 
try to gain some extra yardage for this field goal attempt instead of forcing a pass. And the kick is up, and it is off the crossbar. No good. Nate Freeze, the rookie kicker, misses his third attempt on the day. He's two for three so far as Eli and the Giants take over. Third and ten. This pass out to Larry Donnell is completed, but... It does not go for a first down, and Manning struggling on the day. Only seven completions so far as Detroit takes over, up 13 to nothing. Hopefully they can complete the shutout as this pass goes to Calvin Johnson. Over the middle for the first down, and more. Now into Giant territory. Moore back to pass once again here. He's going to fire, and Alec Ogletree catches this one and hangs on as he's, as he's hit. As soon as he catches it, second and four now for Detroit. Moore back to pass, and the comeback route to Golden Tate works once again as we get down inside the 30-yard line. We're in the late third quarter. Kellen Moore in the shotgun, second down and seven. This pass deep is incomplete in the end zone there. Overshot his receiver, and that'll set up third down and seven out of the shotgun. Moore will hand off to Joyke Bell, breaking tackles, and he gets close to the first down marker. He has 26 rush yards on seven carries, and he will be short of the marker. And Detroit will add a field goal to take a 16-0 lead into the fourth quarter. We move to the fourth quarter now. Detroit has the ball and a 16-point lead. Third down and six. Moore will pass to Joyke Bell, and he will not get the first down but a flag on the play. The officials will talk with each other and it is going to be roughing the passer. That's 15 yards and an automatic first down later on in the drive. Second and 10 at the 38 of New York. This pass incomplete over the middle intended for Ogletree, I believe. And we move on to third and 10. More out of the shotgun now looking. And this pass downfield caught by Eric Ebron inside the 20 down to the 17 yard line. Moore has been really efficient today. Even though we don't want him throwing very much, he has been efficient when he has thrown. This pitch out to Reggie Bush. He's going to get inside the 10. Juke move and taken out of bounds at the 3. That puts him at 123 yards rushing so far today. And that is what we were looking for from our running game. Hand off to Joyke Bell now on first and goal. He'll get down to the one, but stop short of the goal line as we take a look at the replay. Just short. Second and goal now. Hand off to Bell once again, and this time untouched into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown on the day. And Detroit extends their lead as we look at the replay from the touchdown. Detroit doing what they needed to do, running that ball, pounding the rock up the middle with the beast, Joyke Bell, and it has worked for them today as they have a 23 to nothing lead. The only thing now is to try to keep that shutout as Eli has second and 10, shakes off one sack attempt, but the second one by Nick Fairley is good, and that is his first sack on the day. That'll set up third and very long for the Giants, Eli in an empty set, and this pass incomplete, off the mark for Odell Beckham, and the Giants punt, Detroit takes over here, up 23 to nothing at their own 47, handoff to Bell, he's going to break a tackle, gets the first down and more inside the 30, and he's down to the 24, that's a 19 yard gain by Joyke Bell, and he's closing in on 100 yards rushing on the day as we hand off to him again on first and 10. That one's going to go for about five or six yards. Later on in the drive, it's second down and ten. Moore back to pass. Looking has all day. And he hits Calvin Johnson in the end zone for the touchdown. And Megatron gets his first one on the season. And Detroit extends their lead to 30 to nothing over the New York Giants on Monday Night Football. As you look at the replay here. Ooh, did he get in? I'm not sure. They didn't review this one. The only question now is, will we stop the Giants from scoring? First and 10, Eli hits Rashad Jennings, and he fumbles the ball after the big hit. And DeAndre Levy picks it up, and Detroit can celebrate their first victory on the season in week one over the Giants on Monday Night Football. A final score of 30-0. to 
Kellen Moore comes in and does an excellent job leading the Lions to victory with Matt Stafford out. And the running game picks it up and delivers a very good performance. Taking a look at the stats from both teams in this game. Detroit, 407 yards of total offense, 221 on the ground. That's what they needed to do. 77 yards of total offense by the Giants. So the Lions defense doing the job. Kellen Moore, 16 for 26, 203. And I believe one touchdown on the day. Also Reggie Bush, 27 carries, 123 yards. Joyke Bell, 19 for 97 in those two touchdowns. And Reggie Bush also had three catches for 60 yards. Calvin Johnson, three for 47 in a touchdown. So overall, a very good game by this Detroit offense. And the defense, Stephen Tullock, the leading tackler, was seven, two for a loss on the day. And coming up in the next episode, we'll move on to an away game at Carolina against Cam Newton. Will the Lions get a victory? We'll have to find out. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.